Hey everyone, Eamon here with, I believe, my first Super League reaction. Um, yeah, we're going to check out the Grand Final. I did not know this occurred. It, it looks like it was 10 days ago. Um, this was recommended by Warto84 in the uh, comments of my... Was it my PNG versus Fiji reaction, I believe? Yeah, I think. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't really taken a look at Super League, so this will be interesting to see like the, the quality of... Uh, like competition i guess compared to the nrl um if anyone or i mean I, i'm sure actually probably most of you watching this you haven't probably like watched my channel before so um hi i guess um i've been following the nrl this past season as my first season watching rugby league and yeah it's been pretty awesome but i know obviously the super league has a lot of very good players and i think there's a lot of um i think there's a isn't there like a, a match between like the two league winners i believe that occurs like in like a few months i think i think i think you guys mentioned that before but yeah so we're gonna check out the, the highlights of this it's the wigan warriors and the hall kr um let me know what the kr stands for mirror maybe i'll take, take a look at that after the uh, after the highlights um but yeah and then also i also was made aware of england versus samoa having a couple test matches so we'll do a reaction to that as well um whenever that that's on like this weekend or this week or next week i think yeah so we'll take a look at the highlights for that um a few did recommend i do a, like a live watch party for that but it is at like um i guess at like seven in the morning for me and that's a bit too early for me i'm not i'm not a big morning guy especially on the weekend so we'll probably avoid that but yeah uh let's just hop into this i uh, make sure to sub like the video comment your thoughts below and yeah i guess who's the best player in the super league i'd be very curious to know about that so yeah let me know in the comments for sure all right let's go all righty here we go Super League Warriors versus the Hall KR. Are this are the the rules must be like very similar, right? Like pretty much the same. I, I I'd imagine. There we go. Hall KR, nice. That was sick. The video ref replay. Okay, what happened here? Look at the contest. Something close here, please. Determine who this comes off. To the lad, it comes off Tyrone May into the Wigan man. Looking for a knock on or something? Yeah. Thank you. I've made my decision. And it's going to be no try. No try? Okay. Okay. Farrell on the angle will put Wigan within 12 meters. And an air of yeah, so I, I assume the rules are pretty similar, or virtually the same. Jeez. I am noticing, is that the is the try zone like tiny? Ooh, that guy hurt. Oh, is he knocked out? Uh oh, I didn't even notice that. What happened here? Oh! Oh, he smacked his head right up. Oh my god. Can I see that again? What was the ref? Is this a referee right here? Or is that the trainer? That's like a crazy stance. To <laughs> that's a crazy stance. I shouldn't be laughing, but that's wild. The, the, the trainer there. Anyways. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Let me know if that guy was all right. I'd assume he's definitely, like, he's HIA for a while. Oh, man. Yeah, the try zone looked tiny from that first shot I just saw of it. Oh, what a dummy. Jeez, Kate, that's crazy. Okay, I'm going to assume that guy's one of the best players in the league. That was insane. That guy looks, he just... Immediately he looks good. Just I mean that's just one highlight, but he looked he looks like an athlete right there. Individual brilliance personified. Yeah, the tri zone's like tiny. That's interesting. There's a high kick. Oh what, what what happened there? Okay. Oh what a finish. I think he got that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, we're getting up by two. So we can see oh, the on-field decision was no try. So Luke Thompson's leading them. Pause it there, go, go back, please. Go back on this. So you can see there's three Hulk KR players that are in a position to receive the ball, and Luke Thompson is within the 10. Ah, okay. Okay, offside, yeah. All right, that's two disallowed tries so far. Back it comes. Harry Smith with that drop goal. Drop goal, nice. Is that just one point in this, or is it more? Yeah, one point, okay. So the, the points are the same. I'm, I'm just going to assume the rules are virtually identical. I know there's probably a couple of minor differences, despite being the same sport, but usually leagues have different, slightly different rules. 
Jeez. Good D. No nope, penalty. I didn't even realize it was raining. That's always fun. Oh yeah, just take, taking the goal and getting it closer. Getting it within one try. Yeah. Oh, jeez, that went off the bar. <laughs> off the bar. <laughs> Or sorry, with uh, two points there, not one one. Yeah. Can't do that. Dangerous tackle. Definitely. I mean, it wasn't a dangerous tackle, but that's that's the rule. I remember that rule from there. Wow. Big kick. Nine two. 15 left. Nice. Jeez, what a play. Did he? I think he dropped it. He loses it right. Yeah, oh man, what a tackle. No way. His face immediately was like, yeah, I, I messed that up. That's crazy. Oh, looks like they still won though. Okay, Wigan. Congrats. Yeah, I feel like I've heard the name or team name Wigan before. I don't know if it was. I think I have checked out the Super League, just not like very very much. We definitely must have seen at least one uh, one match. Yeah, bang! Congrats, congrats, Wigan. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Crowd looks epic too. Yeah, look at that. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, the Wigan Warriors. Four trophies in one year. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. So they're just like a dominating team, I guess. Yeah. Wow. In the pouring rain. Okay. All right. That was pretty sick. Okay. Now let us take a look at. Um, I usually do this for anyone that's new to the channel, but I, uh, I, d I like to take a look at teams on Wikipedia afterwards just to get a little more context. Maybe I'll do the Super League um, first on Wikipedia just so I'm. Take a look at this. Uh, the Betfried Super League. Yeah. Top level British Rugby League season. Yeah. Knew that. Uh, because the total teams, 11 are from Northern England and one from Southern France. Okay. Yeah. 27 games. Okay. Same as NRL. Um, yeah, I, I think it's pretty similar. Yeah. Would you guys say it's pretty similar to the NRL in terms of like format and stuff? I got to think it's like, yeah, it's like, I mean, it's a good format. So I'd assume it's like pretty much similar to that. Um, just less teams. Um, okay. Some teams here we got, oh, these are founding teams okay yeah wigan working town warrington sheffield paris saint germain paris saint germain okay that's interesting uh, okay where are let's find out current clubs okay castleford tigers uh catalan dragons huddersfield giants hall fc hull kingston rovers leeds rhinos lay lay lee lee leopards london broncos Salford Red Devils, St. Helens, and Warrington Wolves and the Wigan Warriors. Okay, where is it's Hull FC? Why did it say KR? Did they change their name? Yeah, okay, why did it say hmm. Okay, well, I guess we'll find out that, that after. Um maybe I'll open a tab for the Wigan Warriors because I'll take a look at them in a second. Oh no, there we go. The Hull sorry, the Hall Kingston Rovers. That's the team, not a Hull FC. Apologies, I'm sure there's some of you guys that are freaking out about that. My bad. My bad. Looks like they're like a smaller team too, or a newer team. Yeah, they're, they're like a, a newer team too, so the, I'm sure the, the whole FC guys are probably like, what? And then the, the new guys are probably like even even more mad. Anyways, okay. Uh, results, okay, champions. Okay, St. Helens, 10 wins, 5 runners up. Looks like they won, they won 4 in a row? Jesus, okay, they won 4. Okay, we were just talking about uh, like the Penrith Panthers and the NRL just won 4 in a row, so that's crazy. They, the, the teams won 4 in a row in Super League as well. That kind of, yeah, interesting. 
there's like actually there's a bunch of teams. Leeds won one, two, three. Jeez, okay, they won f five in six years. That's almost just as crazy. And then two more. It looks like there's only yeah. Jeez, okay, this this yeah, the Super League is just dominated by a few teams. That's kind of interesting. And Wiggins won back to back. Okay, that's cool. Uh, a bunch of these guys have runners up. Warrington four runners up. That's that sucks. That sucks for you guys. Oh my god. And then this is the uh, yeah finishing first in the Super League. Okay. The cha oh okay. And goes the Challenge Cup. Yeah, the Challenge Cup is what we w reacted to, I believe. Let me clarify that though. I'm pretty sure it was the Challenge Cup that we saw. Yeah, is that when you play? Is that what we reacted to? I think it is. Yeah, I think the Challenge Cup we reacted to on the channel. If not, I'm, it's something else I'm forgetting. Um, okay, then the, the, the treble is when you win the Grand Final, the League Leader, and the Challenge Cup. And then the quadruple is you win the Grand Final, League Leader, Challenge, and the World Club Challenge. Okay, I, is this the thing I'm, I'm thinking of? The World Club Challenge? Uh... Annual rugby league competition between the winners of the NRL and the and the Super League. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. This is this is the yeah, yeah. Super League have won fifty. Okay, Super League's won more than the NRL. Interesting. Would it be fair to say then that the NRL is like the NRL is like a deeper league? Like there's more teams and there's probably like a larger amount of good players. But the NRL or the, but the Super League has like the more stacked teams maybe at the top. Because from looking at the results, the Super League does seem to be. Like there's like three or four teams that are just way better than everyone else, so maybe they're, yeah, like the just maybe they have more money, they can buy better play. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know in the comments though. But it looks like it's pretty even though with the NRL in terms of the actual finals, like the top ends is similar. Um, yeah, it looks like yeah. So the Wigan, actually, there hasn't been too many because of uh, because of COVID. Yeah, likely cancellation due to player welfare. What? Let me know what's happening here. They might not even play it. Okay, that would be annoying. But so yeah, Wigan beat the beat the Panthers last year. St. Helens beat the Pan Panthers the year before. Okay, that's interesting. Roosters, Roosters, Storm, and then Wigan. Yes, Look, it looks like the NRL has won a bit, or they did go on a long run here, where they, yeah, like starting in like 2009, the NRL started winning more, but then the last couple have been, yeah. I think someone's mentioned that maybe Penrith, because they've won so many in a, in a row, some of their is that why their players like don't want to play in it? Is that what I'm? Yeah, that might be it. Not not why they lost, but just like some players are sitting out just because they have to play so much with going to the finals all the time. I don't know. Okay, sorry. Let's go. Let's look at the Wigan Warriors history though, since they just won. Um, nicknames the Cherry and Whites, the Pies, the Riversiders. <laughs> Uh, Cherry White founded 1872. Sheesh. Um, stadium 25k stadium. I think they're away colors a lot. Jeez, it's a nice color. Okay, I'm not gonna like read their whole Wikipedia and they just scroll through here and find um, just their results like year by year and stuff and who their like top players are. Uh, kit sponsor. Currently sponsored by Kappa. That's awesome. That's Humal. German founded. Interesting. It's always cool to see like the the sport companies in other countries. Like I've never heard of like any of these companies before. I've heard of Kappa, but that's not definitely not a company that's very popular in Canada. But I, I know like the logo. Like it's like the yeah. Um, okay, teams. They have a bunch. Okay, they have a bunch. That's good. They have a yeah bunch of double mental teams. And then their squad. Okay, do I recommend? Do I recognize anyone? Okay, they have how many like Australians? Is that a bunch of Australians? What country is this? Uh, Ireland. That's wait, is that? Is that Ireland's? What is that flag? That doesn't look like the Ireland Ireland flag. Um, what flag is this too? Samoa. Okay, Samoa. Yeah, mainly English, but they do have a couple. Um, yeah, are there any? Um, are there any rules on like import players in this? Because I know I know some leagues, some professional leagues do have rules on import players. Like you can only have X amount of players not from your country. Um, I know like in hockey, in hockey, a lot of European uh, leagues, 
don't allow you to have like like i think is it the swiss league or the swedish league maybe you can have like three players that aren't from sweden and stuff like that which is i mean it's good because it you want obviously your, your country you want to develop your own players but at the same time you still want to have like a, play good players from other teams but or other countries but yeah let me know if that's a thing but yeah i don't think i recognize anyone here i don't know why i would because i obviously haven't really watched um this but yeah don't recognize anyone but i guess i'll tell familiar familiarize myself um but yeah so they won yeah they won a lot am i reading this right they won 90 91 92 93 94 jeez okay so they won one two three four five six they won seven times in a row man that's yeah okay these these guys are yeah wow that's kind of crazy yeah, that's wild. Okay, and then the Hall Kingston Rovers. Okay, they were... Okay, it does say they were founded 140, 1882. Why did it say 2007 before? Uh, okay, Hall KR's on the east side, Hall FC on the left. Okay, after a 10 year stay in the Super League, they're, rele they're relegated to the championship in 2016. And they gained promotion again. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Why did it... Let me read why well, well, it took them so long to get into the Super League. Okay, it looks like... Okay, so they were... They wanted... Or, People wanted to m mash the two Hull teams together when the Super League was introduced, and they didn't want to, so they had to like fight their way up to promotion. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, the whole prom promotion relegation is so sick. I I love that concept. Um, I've watched I've watched a bunch of the uh, what's it called um, the Ryan Reynolds show for the for soccer. Um, uh, the Wrexham. I've watched Wrexham, and yeah, they they explain the whole promotion thing pretty well there, and that's. Very cool concept. I wish I wish that was a thing in North American sports at times because there are some absolutely terrible teams that should probably not have teams at, in the in the main league at the moment. But anyways, okay, yeah, let's we'll, we'll wrap it up there. That was a very good, uh, very good watch. Yeah, so that was my reaction to the Super League Grand Final twenty twenty four. Um, yeah, I I think I did react to Wigan play. Uh, like a few months ago maybe it must have been like the challenge cup or the uh the world club it wasn't no i think it, i think it must have been the challenge cup because the world club wouldn't have happened uh since like last year before i started watching rugby league right so must have been the challenge club uh, i'll link that in the description if i did react to it i definitely have heard of it so i must have reacted to it um yeah it was a good game very low scoring but that's i mean you expect that when you, when you have the two best teams playing against each other they're usually are pretty tight games um yeah so i definitely need to check out if the penrith wigan game happens i definitely need to check that out because that'll be uh pretty cool to see hopefully everyone like yeah yeah the, the player cancellation or the player availability thing that would be annoying if they don't have that happen i feel like that shouldn't be allowed to happen that should be an auto thing you have to do but i guess we'll see um yeah so those of you um i guess does anyone here watch both I, I feel like it might be hard to if you're in england watching the nrl might be hard it might be hard to watch both leagues but from my understanding just from looking at the standings and stuff and then with the results of the the world club challenge i'd assume that the nrl is like a deeper league and the, the player that is more spread out on more teams and then the super league has the similar like high-end players or high-end teams but they're just more the players are more concentrated on I guess smaller grouping of teams right so that might like yeah I guess it probably evens out pretty well but yeah that that's my understanding but let me know if I'm wrong about that I'm sure there's some of you that think the NRL sucks or vice versa so yeah we'll find out but yeah so we'll wrap up there um we will be doing a reaction to England versus Samoa uh both is it two matches I think it's two matches we'll react to both of those um that should be fun i know samoa has some absolute units on their team so that'll be cool to see them uh up against england because i haven't really seen yeah obviously i haven't seen many english players there might be a few yeah there's definitely a few english players in the nrl but i don't really like uh, yeah i wouldn't be able to like tell you who, who exactly um yeah so uh, yeah i had a bunch of questions throughout make sure to answer those for me if you can that'd be a great help um and yeah if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a sub drop a like comment your thoughts below let me know what I should check out as well. If there's anything that's, yeah, like definitely let me know the best players and stuff. Cause I'll, I'll do some reaction to those. Um, and yeah, yeah. Let's just wrap it up there. Thanks for watching.